Hey, good day everyone. It's Cassidy from Smith RV, Casper, Wyoming. We're going to take a look at a 2022 J-Flight 242 BHSW. So if you're curious on the model number of what that really represents, 24 is kind of your box length of the trailer. Uh, the BH is bunkhouse. The S is a slide. The W is West Coast. Uh, so these are built in Twin Falls, Idaho. So uh, we got West Coast production from Jayco, which is nice. They do cater those floor plans to be a little more uh, to the mountain states and Pacific Northwest. And one of those things is the Baja package. So this unit having the Baja package, we have 16 inch wheels on here off-road tires, and it does have two 40-gallon uh, freshwater tanks on this, so that is 80 gallons of water on this, um, which is just unheard of on a travel trailer. Uh, tons, of, tons of water. All right, this does have the J-Port system on it, which is nice, so we got this little, uh, this little tray. Slides on to the bracket on the back bumper, and we have a capital uh, griddle on here, and this does quick connect to the propane system on the trailer. So don't worry about bringing, bringing your grill from home. It's here, it's ready, easy to use. So carry that a little further, we have an outdoor kitchen over here. So to make easy cleanup, it does have a sink, uh, hot and cold water, and a built-in drawer. So now this is, oops, wrong side. This is a 110 fridge, what I like to call the college fridge. Uh, so if you're at the KOA, this is gonna work amazing. If you're going dispersed, going off the grid, going boondocking, obviously this isn't gonna work unless you're hooked up to your generator the whole time, which nobody wanna do that. So. Uh, to get some use out of this, just head on over to Albertson, Safeway, uh, wherever your uh, local grocery store is, get yourself a piece of dry ice, keep that thing trucking. So, all right, let's move on down on here. So we have a power adjustable pitch hardware awning on here, so we can adjust that down. This has outside speakers on it. This will be our range vents. Uh, on it out there so the exhaust from the range will come out there. In the event you want to bring the TV outside, it does have a bracket. You just take the TV from the inside, bring it off, set it on here. We plug in here, cable outlet here. Got our freshwater fill uh, there. We have a nice little, uh, a little smaller than the average, but an entry door assist handle and that will help you get up in the unit, uh, also with the solid steps. So, if you haven't seen the operation of these, you go up like this, pull the little Jayco blue lever, and that stays right inside the door frame. I'm gonna bring that down, and say we got some unlevel ground, we're gonna go ahead and individually adjust these legs. Okay, also on here, you won't see the latch that goes to the side of the camper anymore because we have the friction hinge door. Works pretty good. Maybe takes up to, you know, 30 some miles an hour. That's pretty good. Okay, so this has manual stabilizer jacks on it. So very simple motion up and down. So I do always recommend get yourself some nice blocks underneath of here so you don't fully extend that jack. Uh, because when you do, you will lose rigidity in the coach. You're gonna get a lot more rock in the coach. This does come prepped with the Furion observation system. Uh, so you're gonna have prep on each front sides of this trailer and the back. That you can get cameras, driver side, passenger side, and the rear and then watch that from one screen inside the coach, if that's what you choose. 
Coming up, Jayco does a really nice job of integrating the A-frames on these trailers that's not stacked like some manufacturers. What does that really do? It gives you more rigidity within the chassis. It's gonna last longer. It's gonna do a better job for you in the long run. Does this cost more to do? Absolutely. Jayco deems it super necessary. So part of that Baja Edition 2, we have two 30 pound propane tanks under here. Nice hard cover. And we do have a little access to those. So you can turn your valves onto your tanks just from the top side. Nice little uh, inset battery rack, kind of gives you a little more peace of mind that those batteries aren't going to fall out and that will fit two 24 group batteries. And a nice little LED light as well as a hitch hookup light over on the front. And this is a power tongue jack. All right, let's go on over to the utility side of this unit and see what's going on over here. So not much is going on right here besides your other observation prep there. Other side of the passenger storage. All right, over on the back here. So we have our black tank flush, city water connection down below here. We're gonna open this guy up into our very conventional outside shower. Great way to hose off dogs, kids, yourself, depending on what uh, you have going on that day. Kind of nice up in there. Show that. So there's, again, our city water connection and all nice color coded and labeled uh, valve dumps. So we have our gray water pole our fresh water pole, or excuse me, black water, not fresh, um, and our three inch exit there. So a little side note too, now that we can get a good look at those axles, uh, Jayco uses Dexter axles on these. Definitely another thing that they pay more money for, but they're gonna do a lot better job in the long run for you. All right, let's go take a look at the back side of this thing. So we have a matching 16 inch wheel for this and matching tire. We have our prep for that backup camera on the back. Six gallon DSI water heater, uh, gas and electric, and our standard roof ladder on this. Let's go take a look at the roof of this J-Flight real quick. All right, here we are, rooftop on the J-Flight 242 BHSW. So, I'm going to start with the Magnum Trust roof system on this, on every Jayco built out there. It is a legit 50% stronger than the competition. They build them better. There's proof that shows that uh, trees have literally fallen on the top of these things and has not broken through the roof. It's actually pretty, pretty incredible. So Magnum Trust roof system. Not everyone even gives you a walkable roof, uh, believe that or not, in today's age. So let's take a look at the few things that they have in the roof. We have roof vents, plumbing vents. We've got a skylight just down below camera guy TJ. we got a refrigerator vent. If you're ever curious on what that looked like, there's that. We have a 13.5 BTU Coleman Mock air conditioner there. Our WineGuard 360 digital TV antenna, so no need to crank that thing up like yesteryears. And our GoPower 100 watt uh, solar panel, rough mounted from Jayco. All right, come along guys, let's go inside. Oh, sorry. Hey everyone, sorry. Okay, let's check out the inside of the 242 BHSW. So I was casually hanging out at the U-shaped dinette. Uh, so not only can you fit a lot of bottoms around that thing uh, for breakfast, dinner, lunch maybe, but this does create an awesome sleeping surface. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at uh, how this breaks down. I fit, I fit. <laughs> Look at this big old sleeping surface. Love U-shaped dinettes for this. They just create a large space, much bigger than your average 
uh, booth I net. So really enjoy that. All right, let's take a look at everything else in this unit. So let's go on over to your kind of a kind of combination uh, pantry or wardrobe in here. You know, this shelf could be removable in there. Have a nice big space down below. And on into the bathroom. So very nice uh, medicine cabinet in 2022. This was part of the Rocky Mountain uh, edition for 23s that has uh, kind of all merged together as one is becoming standard. Got a GFCI outlet here. Little storage down below here. Access to the back side of the outside shower there, which is nice. You never know. You need access. We do have a porcelain commode with a foot flush. We've got a heat duct in here so you won't be freezing. Toilet pop toilet paper holder, excuse me. Then we got this mammoth of a shower. This uh you could shower um you know few people in here at one time if, if needs be I don't so very sizable shower nice little shower head on here and some nice shelves there maybe set a few things and height is is great uh, being 6'3 I still got a little room to go all right let's move on to our bunk bed so this has got a double over double bunk bed set up in here they got our teddy bear mattresses, which is super nice. And also, if you can come around here, TJ, but we can see we have USBs uh, up here on this side, lights. And let's see. And we, down here, we have 110 plugs down here as well. You can see up in there. So for connectability to power, should be pretty well good to go. So we have a very large uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator in here. This is a Norcold gas electric uh, setup. So that's always good. Um, a high point microwave. A little exhaust fan on here. You can do all your cooking outside on that capital griddle. That would be most ideal, but if you're cooking in here at least you have some way to get the, get the fumes out. Nice little three burner cooktop. And these are removable, so you can get down there and have good access to cleaning. And then I love, always love the color coded uh, indicators, whether you got that gas running or not. So definitely a lot safer way to go. So got a nice high rise faucet. And a 50 50 sink. We got a cutting board here. Nice little stainless steel drying rack on this side. And, and a nice 50 50 sink. So we got a few drawers down below here. And an average depth drawer. You know, nothing super crazy, but I definitely think it's probably sufficient. Let's come on over here. So we have our slides, slide switch, our awning, battery, fresh water tank, black tank, gray tank, water pump switches, lighting switches. Over here to our entertainment center. So we got a 32 inch flat screen TV. And then we have an AM FM uh, Bluetooth capable uh, radio there as well. So you can connect to that. And we'll go on up into the bedroom and we have a queen bed let's see what's going on underneath here so it's nice and strutted um, and good amount of storage below and just a side note too i don't know if you can see it but we do have a heat duct right at the bottom of the bed i think we all know that's going to do a good job of keeping the little toesies uh warm uh, on some of that cold camping adventures then i want you to shift that camera over to that wall and see that 30 amp controller there the solar controller so uh, that helps uh, control the power from the roof 
uh, to the batteries and putting that 12 volt power to your coach. And then we have wardrobes on each side. So, and let me go ahead and open this one. Cause you, you, so you have got good hanging over here on that side. And then this side, actually, if you can see that from over there, we actually have some built-in shelves in here as well. Our air conditioning vents. We can actually shut flow off if we want. We can direct it. That kind of helps keep uh, keep things comfortable within the coach. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Again, I'm Cassidy. We're Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. If you like the video, hit the like button. If there's something you want to see, uh, hit, hit the comments down below. I'd be happy to do a video on whatever else you guys would like to see. Um, and visit us at smithrv.com. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.